Hello guys, welcome to my channel. My name is Justine Ba. Uh, I'm a new YouTuber here on YouTube. This is just a, a call out video for you to subscribe, uh, share and comment to my channel. I've been on YouTube for close to five months now and I only have seven subscribers and I believe that as we go on I'm going to have more subscribers to my channel just like recently i've not been posting um a lot of videos because i was sick uh, and i needed to get some bed rest i'm still on bed rest as i'm talking to you right now but I, i'm getting better as the days goes by so i'd like you to comment share this video with others so that we can get more subscribers to this channel as i'll be posting a lot of videos like i promised in my previous video i'll be posting a lot of videos so this is another one uh in this video i'll be talking about um the cervical cyclage the benefits uh the the benefits the dangers and how you can go about it here in zambia okay so for now before we go into details you can always like comment share and subscribe to my channel um i'll give you a moment to do that when i get back we will we'll talk more about uh, a cervical cyclage what is it all about how it is done and who is supposed to do it for now I'll give you a moment to subscribe okay now welcome back yeah like I was saying today we'll talk about cervical cyclage what is it all about okay the complications the benefits of having a cervical cyclage so what is a cervical cyclage uh, this is a stitch which is inserted into the, the cervix the cervix is tied to avoid a an early abortion okay? abortion or miscarriage okay so who are the people who are uh, who can get a, a cervical secret uh, a person who can get a cervical secret is uh, for example a woman who has experienced some some uh, history of miscarriages be it one time or two times okay so if you see that you have undergone um, a miscarriage uh, at let's say at three months twice or just once most three doctors at the hospital they encourage a woman who has gone undergone uh, a miscarriage for more than two times to take a cervical sacrage now how is this done okay so this is done in a period of just three days whereby you book an appointment then you arrange for the suture here in zambia you are requested to buy the suture on your own then you are given a date they insert the cervical cyclage at 13 weeks okay so at 13 weeks that's when they will insert the cervical cyclage they are going to tie the suture of your cervix and at around 36 weeks when you are put on total observation at the hospital they are going to to untie it and uh, in some women labor can take place just after two days after the removal of the suture sometimes others experience labor after uh, two weeks or more okay so now what are the benefits of uh, getting a cervical cyclage? Uh, when you do a cervical cyclage, it means that when you are pregnant, your, your your pregnant or your fetus will be kept in the baby, maybe up to 36 weeks when the baby is ready to come out. So the suture is going to help you to hold the cervix in position. Um, because sometimes the cervix it holds a history whereby if you have had miscarriages at a third month it means that your cervix has got a history that your pregnancy will be ready at six months now if they inside that suture it is going to help you to keep the baby inside not until 36 the seven weeks when they will have to remove it so 
those are the benefits of doing a right SAV cosec large. Now, what are some of the complications which can be uh, a cervical cartilage? One of them, some women who have done a cervical cartilage, they undergo bleeding, abdominal pain, you can have headache, yeah, some they vomit. These are just some of the, the danger signs of a, a cervical cartilage. When they, pl they place the cervical cartilage on your cervix, you are not allowed to do some hard activities which we are doing when you are not pregnant. A woman has been put on cervical cartilage is requested to rest enough not to have sex, not until six weeks. You are requested to be on a total bed rest until six weeks. Then you go for review. Now your doctor is going to advise you when you can start doing your normal activities if you are a working mom you can go back to work so if you are uh, a cervical separate suture has been placed on you you don't have to do any activities that can affect your your suture even uh, sexual intercourse is discouraged not until six weeks because the suture doesn't have to be infected with anything so they advise you not to insert anything inside the vagina until you are completely healed okay so for more videos like this i'll end the video here but for more videos like this you can like comment share and subscribe if i've left anything you can add to the comment section as we get to learn and teach each other about these things for now i'm going to end the video here um i will see you in my next video like comment share and subscribe yeah until my next video